last uh, year and a half or so um, since we're doing the meeting on Zoom. So um, pursuant to government code section 54953E and the recommendation of the health offer, officer of the County of Sonoma, Economic Development Subcommittee will be participating in this meeting uh, via Zoom uh, webinar. Pardon me, uh, Rafael, it's the SRTDIA Advisory Board. Oh, of course, yes. <laughs> All right. So members of the public uh, may, be, may view and listen to the meeting as noted on the city's website as noted on the agenda. Um, Madam Secretary, could you please, um, um, uh, let's see, a request to record the meeting. Um, yes, so I will go ahead and just let everyone know the members of public wishing to speak during item two, public comment, or during any of the scheduled items will be able to do so by utilizing a raised hand feature, or if by calling in by pressing star nine on their phone, they will then be given the ability to address the, the board. Um, and All right. All right, thank you. Uh, I noticed that the disclosure got a little shorter. So uh, anyway, um, all right, so moving on to number. Uh, so if you want me to do the roll call. Roll call, please. Uh, Member Rumble. Present. Member Rivero. Present. Member Renteria. Here. Member Anderson. Present. And let the end. Uh, let the record reflect that all the members of the board are currently present. Excellent. All right. Uh, so moving on to item two, do we have any public comments? Yes, we do. Um, just one moment, please allow me to share the screen. Thank you. And Mr. Frazier, if you would please confirm your ability to just see the screen and introduce yourself, if you so choose, that would be wonderful. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. That's uh, that's very clear. Uh, I'm loud and clear. This is Eric Frazier, and I'm recognized as Truth in Tourism. Uh, but lately, of course, we've also been involved in uh, the short-term rental community to push back on ordinances that were passed quickly in the city of Santa Rosa. I'm pretty sure everybody on this call is familiar with that. So I did want to give a little update on that because uh, the special normal community contributes in a more growing and substantial way to this BIA fund and committee. So although our forensic accounting wasn't complete, it looks like from year 2020 and prior is about $800,000 from the short-term rental community. And now it appears like it may be 100,000 or so a year coming into BIA. This is important because the ordinance impacted quite a number of people. Um, obviously the short-term rental community needed to be hyper-organized uh, and continues to be in a growing way uh, so there's now hundreds of people that have joined an organization. Um, but most disconcerting of all really are the people that were affected that were uh, hosted rentals. So predominantly these are retirement age people, uh, predominantly women that would have uh, spaces, bedrooms in their homes available for travelers. And this was a significant impact. So what we saw when uh, before the ordinance, about 70% of short-term rentals were these hosted operations. And then after the ordinance, that ratio completely reversed. <clears throat> so the, the cost of the ordinance is actually gonna drive up BIA that comes from the sector because it's basically the commercial operators. But left in the track are hundreds of Santa Rosa citizens that were brutalized by this urgency ordinance. And they'll be organizing and telling their stories. And in a couple of months, we'll be ready for outreach to visitors, which is where we'll be coming back to this board to ask for financial commitment to pay for this outreach. Um, so that's one thing. The other thing is because of now the growing influence of the short-term rental community, surely it would be strategic on the part of this board to uh, invite STR community officially into this uh, board. And uh, even though there's some things to be resolved yet about the appropriateness of the investment, uh, just the same, I think it would be a great idea actually and the time is right to build strong relationships with the STR community. 
Thanks. I appreciate being able to have three minutes of your time. Uh, thanks so much. Have a great meeting. Thank you, Mr. Frazier. We have no additional hands raised at this time. I thank you, Eileen. And there seems to be some background noise. So I'm wondering if uh, everyone could mute themselves or Eileen, if you could mute everybody. And then when they're ready to speak, they can unmute themselves. Thank you. Uh, so moving on to uh, with item uh, with uh, no, item number three is the approval of the minutes, and um, and Eileen, if you don't mind, uh, if you could please promote uh, Charlene as well. And um, um, thank I, you. <clears throat> she has um, received that invitation, and hopefully she'll be um, hopping over to, as a panelist in just a moment. Okay, perfect. All right, so item uh, three is approval of the minutes, um, actually 3.1, um, it's under item 3.1, is the uh, approvals of the minutes from our meeting held on November 18th, 2021. And um, if we, uh, do we have any uh, discussions regarding the minutes before we approve the minutes? No? All right. So uh, I'd like to hear a motion to approve uh, those November minutes from last year. Anyone want, anybody like to make a motion? I, I, will, I will make a motion to approve the minutes. Okay. okay. Uh, someone want a second? I'll second. All right. So uh, any public comments regarding minutes? There are no hands raised at this time. Okay. Further discussion? I don't think so. So all in favor to approve the November 2021 minutes, say aye. Aye. Raise your hand. Any opposed? Great, thank you. Minutes approved. All right, so moving on to uh, event support applications, item four. So we have uh, item 4.1, the uh, 16th annual California Artisan Cheese Festival. Hopefully everyone had a chance to uh, review the applications and we're going to go ahead and dive into that right now. So um, let me see here. I believe this is a returning event. Um, I usually, I typically just give you guys a quick overview. Um, our request is $10,000. Um, they spend a quite significant amount of uh, funds to run this event. It, it is returning. Uh, they did take a pause during the COVID uh, period. Um, they plan to sell 1,500 tickets uh, and recruit up to 500 volunteers. It's held at the uh, Grace Pavilion in Shade Park. And again, what kind of uh, funds do we have available? Yeah, good question. Uh, since it is a new calendar year, I believe, um, you know, this Santa Rosa usually allocates the 25,000 and then the city has the other uh, 25,000. So it's typically uh, a match. So, so, so 50,000 $50, total. Yes. Do we know what, how much we've donated uh, to the cheese festival in the, the past years? Uh, I do have that list, uh, but I didn't. Jeez. I don't recall uh, off the top of my head. I do have the list here. Uh, take me a second to look. Jesus, where's the world? It looks like we, in 2019, we gave them, we awarded $5,000 for their event. And I don't have uh, any prior years. Yeah, so in 2019, it was a total of $5,000 awarded. In 2018, we actually also awarded uh, $4,000. 
All right, so any further discussion for this line item for this application? Rafael, um, the um, event organizer is on the line and would like to say a few words. Very well. Um, Hi, and uh, this is Judy Walker. And I Hi, believe Judy. Tom, Tom Birdsall is also uh, available to speak if he can be unmuted. Um, we. We do appreciate your support in the past. 2018 was the first year we moved to Santa Rosa. And so it was very important for us to get the word out that we had moved locations and that we um, were expanding. Uh, 2019, we started to add more activities. And then uh, of course, 2020 and 2021, we were shut down due to COVID. So we are moving back. Um, and we were supposed to be in March, but due to the pandemic, we had to move our event to May. Um, so we will only be one day this year and uh, hope that we can raise enough funds to be able to be back in person with a three-day event in Santa Rosa next March. Thank you, Judy. Yeah, this, is Tom. this is Tom Birdsell. Can you hear me okay? Yes, Tom. Go ahead. Okay. Thank you for, for uh, having giving us the opportunity to present. We appreciate the past support we, we received from uh, Santa Rosa. Yeah, Judy's captured it. We're trying to restart, you know, the in-person event this year, May 7th with our largest event that has attracted at least 1,500 people. Um, and as our application states, we attract a lot of people from outside the county, typically 65% and from people from all across the country. So this is a year to sort of get things back going in person. We did just uh, yesterday evening, uh, the Summit County Tourism has renewed their support for us, which is very helpful. So we're hoping you would also renew your support to help us really get the word out about this festival for people outside the county. Uh, so that will promote overnight visits. Also with Judy's great help, of course, creating a, one of the, really the, I think probably the best artisan cheese festival in the country. So it's yet another reason besides beer and wine and food and you know all the great things about Sonoma and Santa Rosa, we have one more thing to, to offer to people. Um, so we appreciate your support and happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Tom. Um, yes, and uh, per the application, uh, there's an estimated of um, 120 rooms uh, during that night, uh, guests and vendors, and the funds would be utilized for Fee, uh, facility fees and marketing. So we awarded 4,000 in 2018, 5,000 in 2019. The request is for 10,000 this time around. Anyone, anyone ready to make a motion for? Uh, I'll just uh, start with the overall comment in that uh, I think the festival is wonderful, uh, brings uh, a lot of folks to town, uh, just like Tom was saying, it's a it's a nice um, further definition of what makes uh, Santa Rosa, Sonoma County uh, unique and special, um, so agree, agree with all of that completely. Uh, I just an overall comment that has nothing to do with the cheese festival is the number of requests that we have on the agenda today. And uh, if you count up the total of uh, the requested amount, it is uh, well oversubscribed to the uh, funds that we have available. So um, just looking at everything with that sort of lens, um, uh, but also that is in no way a, a you know a disparaging comment on the value of this event. So I I I would love to support this event. Uh, I hope the committee agrees. And um, the real question I think is the the dollar amount. Thank you, Peter. Any other comments, Todd? Yeah, I agree with Peter. Um, I think it's a great event. Um, <laughs> not real thrilled about the, the date, but I mean, it is what it is. I, I, th I think it is a great event and I, I think it brings rooms into the area. And as, as Peter mentioned, I think the amount of support that we could potentially offer is in no way reflect, you know, how we feel about the event. It's, and you know, we have six applications in front of us and only $50,000. So, yeah. I, I guess I'd make a motion to support. 
4,000 with the stipulation that it goes to marketing. And I would, I would agree with that. All right, so Todd, motion to approve 4,000. Donna. Second it. Second. Um, let's see, any, any other discussion? Just make the, the comment if, if, the, uh, um, if the motion maker is and the second uh, is willing to consider uh, maintaining the level of support that we had the last time around at 5,000 rather than going down to, to 4,000. Um, I, I'd support that. Uh, and it's not a sword I'm interested in dying on. So happy to, happy to get any funds that we can to the organization. Thank you. Uh, public comments? Actually, uh, the uh, member Anderson has his hand raised. Uh, go ahead. Oh, uh, Todd, did you have, did you want to say something? I, I wouldn't be opposed to five. Okay, so we'll take that motion back up on that. All right, so Todd's making a motion to approve $5,000 for the 16th Annual California Artisan Cheese Festival. And Donna, if you want a second, or Peter, or I'll go ahead and second that. I, I, I think Donna would either technically have to agree to that or remove oh, Okay, her. all right. I'll, I'll agree, I'll agree. Okay, Donna, second. Definitely. All right. Um, all right, we had a discussion in public comments. We have no hands raised at this time, uh, nor were there any voicemails or emails for this meeting. Okay. Um, all right, so all those in favor to approve $5,000 to the 16th Annual California Artists and Cheese Festival taking place on May 7th of this year at the fairgrounds, uh, say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion passes. Thank you. Very well, moving on. Uh, we have now the uh, item 4.2, the 30th annual Sonoma County Hot Air Balloon Classic. And the request um, is for $20,000. The total amount of the event is $200,000. And uh, it takes place in June at the fairgrounds. Uh, again, it's another very exciting event. I think they took a break during COVID. Uh, it's, it's an event so the last there. time they had this, was it at the fairgrounds or, or this is the first one? Because I know the others were canceled. Is this the first one that's going to actually be held at the fairgrounds? I believe so. Yeah, do we have, yeah, I don't think we have any representatives from the, from the, uh, from the organization. But, uh, well, yes, I mean, here for the uh, application, this is a returning event, 30 years. I believe it was in Windsor, uh, Kaiser Park. And I, I, I got a feeling that it's the first time that would be taking place at the fairground, so. In the application, it states that it's the first year at the Santa Rosa Fairgrounds, so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, estimated uh, general booking, 80 plus rooms, lots of families. Uh, so it seems like it's a very, very well attended event. Any further discussion? Yeah, and again, given the, the amount of funds that we have available, I think the total of these seven, six applications uh, comes up to close to $50,000. So, do we know how much we contributed to them in the past? Uh, let me check on that. Uh, see if I can find it real quick. I don't know. Let me take a look.
I don't remember the contributing any to that event. I think we, we may have. Um, so it was canceled in 2020. And uh, no, we haven't. We haven't funded I this think event. So. Yeah. They put in the request in 2020 and it was canceled. So we probably made a motion to approve something, but uh, again, it was, uh, we did not make the award because of the cancellation. All right, so anybody want to make a motion to approve um, event support for? I think, I think, in my opinion, you know, I think it's a good event. I'm not thrilled about the dates, but you know, I like that it's bringing people into the area. My, and this goes back to the, the previous concern is, is the amount of money they're requesting. I don't, I don't, I don't know. If someone has a, an amount in mind off the top of my head, I'm thinking five, but yeah, I don't know where everyone else is at. That's just my thoughts. If that's a motion, I'd second it. And I will agree. I uh, guess it's a motion. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second. All right, okay, so Todd made a motion to approve $5,000 for the 30, 30th annual Sonoma County Hot Air Balloon Classic. Peter second. Any, any other discussion? Any comments from the public? We have no hands raised at this time. All right, so all those in favor to approve uh, $5,000 for the um, 30th annual Sonoma County Air Balloon Classic taking place June 4th and 5th this year at the Santa Rosa Fairgrounds. Say aye. 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 Any opposed? All right, motion passes. Thank you. Uh, moving on to 4.3, Monster Truck nationals and i think i just saw the sign over at the fairground so it must be happening pretty soon uh their request uh is 2500 the total amount of to run the event is about 60 62 000, according to the application um generates um according to the uh what they mentioned in the section about uh overnights uh 100 to 250 room nights possibly i don't know how they track that down but Oh, they do say something about the Sandman. 50 rooms, Domingo, Double Tree, Out of Town, and so on. Uh, well, Double Tree's out of Santa Rosa. But anyway, uh, it looks like a fun uh, family event. And I think we have funded them in the past, too. Let me see if I can. Monster. We, we have multiple years. Uh, wow. The, the amount has not been particularly significant uh, that we funded them, honestly. It's fairly fairly small amount of support that we've provided. Yeah. 2015, it was $1,000. 16, 2000, 17. So we have been funding them throughout the years. It is a returning event um, and you know, their request is 2,500. I think uh, in 2019. I, I, I'm thinking the 2,500 that they're asking, I think we, we can do 2,500. Okay, is that a motion, uh, Donna? Yes, yes. To approve $2,500 for this event. Uh, someone want to second? I don't want to second, no. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd be more comfortable with like a thousand or fifteen hundred. I mean, we've been supporting this event for many years. It's not a nonprofit or anything like that. It, it's uh, I'm sure they're making money or they wouldn't keep coming back. Um, yeah, I, I think the funds would be better used for other organizations. I do think. I mean, I'd be willing to, to, to support a thousand or fifteen hundred or something along those lines. But you know, majority rules. That's that's just my two cents. 
So we don't know what kind of uh, room nights they've brought us in the past. I don't have that information, unfortunately. According to the application, they said it generates a range of 100 to 200, 250 rooms, room nights. Uh, I, attendees. Um, and they got the Flamingo and the, and the Sandman as sponsor uh, host hotels. They mentioned that they're working with the Sandman on, on rooms. And according to the application, uh, they get about 6,000 people atten attending the event. And they even have it broken down to about 2,000 out of the area, about 4,000 uh, within Sonoma County. I'm okay with uh, fifteen hundred dollars. You know what? Let's let's. I, I'm going to agree with that. Okay. So motion to approve fifteen hundred dollars for event support for the Monster Truck Spring Nationals. Someone want a second? Uh, Todd, didn't I, hear you. I, I will. I'll second it. Okay, Donna. So. I made the motion down a second. Any uh, okay. further discussion? No? Uh, comments from the public? We have no hands raised at this time. Thank you, Eileen. All right, so um, all those in favor say aye to approve the $1,500. Aye. aye. Any opposed? Motion passes. $1,500 for the Monster Truck Nationals event, May 13th, 14th, of this year. All right. Um, moving on to item 4.4. Uh, this one's actually uh, kind of an easy one, but I have instructions that we have to uh, vote on. This is the, yeah, okay. This is the, uh, um, if you may recall back in November, we did approve the Wine Country Distillery Festival. It's also a, a big uh, event here in Santa Rosa. And uh, they have proposed uh, an earlier date and because of the pandemic, uh, they propose a new date. And all we got to do, I understand, is just to um, approve the new date, which is now August 13th. So um, any uh, discussion regarding that item? We have already approved $3,500. I believe their request was 5000 and I believe the total cost to run the event is around $150,000. Uh, I have that wrong, but they also claim to generate a lot of night stays. And uh, yes. It, this is just moving the date, so. Be yes. Like, so yeah, I'll make the motion. Okay, motion to uh, approve the new date, uh, which is again, August 13th. Uh, I'll second that. All those in favor to date change, say aye. 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 Okay, any opposed? Yes. All right, so motion approved to do the date change for the Wine Country Distillery Festival. All right, uh, thank you all. Uh, moving on, we have the uh, returning event, 4.5, our annual Sonoma County LGBTQI++ <laughs> uh, par, uh, Pride Parade and Festival. And this time around, the organization is requesting um, or the event support ask is $7,500. Uh, the event uh, it has, a, has a, a, a budget of $130,000. It's throughout a three-day weekend. Um, I know it's, it's a very busy event. Um, how many room nights? Uh, 75. And I think this would be our, this is the third time they apply for funds. I, and the funds uh, would be destined for marketing and uh, printing. And I think that's, that was the uh, last year's request, I think. I'm not, I don't remember if we funded them last year. Um, I know they had the banners and some other things, but anyway, uh, any discussion? 
And can we check and see if we have funded them in the past? And if so, what yeah. amounts? Yeah, uh, let me pull that. Uh, one second. Uh, 2019, $2,500. 2020, we approved uh, 20, 2,500. I don't remember if, uh, because they didn't hold the event, if we took that back. Um, and then 2021, 2,500. Raphael, I just want to interject for one moment and let you know that the event organizer is on the line. So I'll go ahead and-, and Oh on. yeah, okay, wonderful. Uh, welcome, Chris. Oh, hello, welcome. Thank you, thanks for having me. Uh, I'm on my cell phone, so if you can't hear me, I'm sorry. <laughs> we can hear you. Um, uh, you guys have funded us for the last three years that we've had in-person events. Uh, I think the first year was 2,500. The last two years was 5,000. Um, just so you know, I, that, uh, this year we're requesting 7,500. We're returning to uh, Old Courthouse Square. Um, we've also teamed up with Visit Santa Rosa. So our event is now starting on June 2nd with a uh, Pride movie in the square in conjunction with Visit Santa Rosa. And then Friday night, uh, usually we do not have any activities in downtown Santa Rosa. This year we're, we're doing a, a meet and greet sort of cocktail hour on the square, utilizing our stage. Um, and then we're teaming up with the local restaurants in the downtown area to offer some sort of meal deal uh, or some kind of incentive to get our folks off the square into restaurants. And then Saturday we start with our parade so, uh, and the festival will be on the square. It sounds like we're gonna actually be expanding the festival to take over more of 4th Street um, as well. And then Sunday, uh, we have a pool party in planning mode. It's either gonna be at Great and Rancheria or the Flamingo. We're waiting to ink our documents. We're still negotiating. So, um, and then we also have additional events planned later in the year. We have a family affair event which uh, uh, will be in July. Um, but uh, for the main part, we're here for the, that weekend festival. About 30% of the people that attend the festival are from outside of our area, uh, meaning like Sacramento, East Bay, or San Francisco. Um, and those numbers, all the demographics are in the package that we submitted at the time of the application. But I'm here if you have any questions. Thank you so much for your support. and. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, Chris, uh, thank you so much and uh, good luck again uh, on the event. Um, all right, well, there you have all the information. And um, well, I'll, I'll start us out in the conversation just to, to thank uh, Christopher and Pride, um, just a tremendous partner for everything that we're trying to do uh, in Santa Rosa. Um, just, I, I can't speak highly enough of uh, the, the partnership uh, and what they're doing, uh, particularly with their events and uh, would really encourage us to, to stretch on this one if we can. Um, I think this is just like we were talking about with food and beverage, uh, we have one of the largest LGBTQ uh, TI plus uh, populations uh, in California, uh, here in Sonoma County. And uh, we should be celebrating that as often as possible. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable making an emotion for the, for the 75. We're currently at 15 right now, um, but just open, open that up for the conversation. I'm wondering if I misheard. Is this is a three day event, right? Correct. No. And it looks like it's okay. starting a, a little earlier, earlier okay. on I, June 2nd. I was, I was thinking it was Memorial Day weekend. Um, but I'm looking yeah. at my calendar. I'm like, nope, that's not right. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I, my thoughts are, I think it's a good event. Um, it is kind of a, already a high demand weekend. Um, I'd be in favor of supporting it, but I'd be more comfortable around the, the $5,000 mark. Any uh, further discussion? Donna? So my thought is with the dates that, that, that there is in question, I would say 5,000. That's a busy weekend anyway. <coughs> Okay, yeah, it's a wonderful event. Uh, been very supportive of, you know, bringing folks downtown, uh, the parade, uh, all of that takes into account and uh, just, it seems to just really engage our city. I mean, all kinds of people come, come down to Courthouse Square and I think I've even participated in the parade before along with uh, San Rosa PD, but um, I'm willing to go with six. I I like the I like higher amount, you, you know. I'll meet you at six thousand. Yeah, yes, I would second six. All right, so we have a motion for six. I think Donna was your second on that. Okay, so I make a motion for to approve the six thousand for the annual Sonoma County LGBTQI uh, Pride Parade and Festival. Donna, second. All those in favor for six? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Aye. Motion approved. Uh, good luck, Chris. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you again for your support and everything you do for uh, the city of Santa Rosa and our public. All right, moving on. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, 1140. We got just two more items quickly. Um, and thank you again for being here today. Uh, the 2022 DJFE, and that stands for Dana Jones Fitness uh, Foundation uh, Triathlon. Uh, and uh, it's a triathlon race series. It's, on, it's in May. It's around the uh, Finley uh, Community Center and such. Anyway, the ask is $6,500. Uh, sorry, $2,000. The total cost of the event uh, to run is around 6,500, according to what Dana states in the application. And uh, have we funded them before DJFE? Let's take a look. Uh, there was an application back in uh, 2021, and uh, I cannot confirm if we did not make the award because of COVID, but it was 70, uh, 750 times two. So uh, we awarded the 1500, but I'm not, like I said, I think the event may have been canceled and I apologize, I don't have those notes. And that is the only time they, they have come forward with an application. So this would be the second time. And again, the request is $2,000. And they wanna utilize the funds for, I think, marketing. Yes. I'll make a motion to approve the, at the 2000 level. Okay. No, I'll second it. Okay, thank you, Donna. Any uh, further discussion? Okay, any uh, comments from the public? We have no hands raised at this time. Thank you, Eileen. All right, so uh, um, all those uh, in favor to approve the $2,000 for the DJFE triathlon uh, taking place on May 1st, say aye. Aye. Okay, aye. any opposed? All right, motion approved. Thank you. All right, and last but not least, we have the returning Wednesday night market, Santa Rosa. Uh, now this one is kind of interesting. I believe it's their first time applying. Uh, their request is for $6,000. You know, you guys know that to run this event, it 
very costly. Uh, it's around ballpark figure of $315,000. And uh, this will be going on actually uh, from May 18, which we're very excited about, through August 31st of this year. Um, I do have some notes here. The request is to actually pay for a stage. And, uh, and then regarding room nights, I mean, that varies. I know that there's a lot of musicians that come from out of town, uh, visitors. And of course, it'd be great to see uh, the event back in action here in Courthouse Square. Any uh, discussion? Is somebody listed as public on the attendees? I just, I wonder if that's, is that the organizer by chance or is that somebody just from the public? Aline, do we have a um, um, public comment or do we have a- uh, I will go ahead and allow- Gina Castelli. I will go ahead and allow that person to speak. Um, I Because they're named public, I, I don't know who they are. I don't mean to force anybody to speak. It's just if if that's the organizer, I'd kind of like to hear from them since this is a slightly different request than we typically get. Certainly. Um, the individual who has signed in as public, um, I, I'm just going to give you a few seconds. If, if you are the organizer for this event, um, you have the ability to, to speak. Um, if not, well, I'll just go ahead and um, let you just continue to listen to the meeting. And if you're having difficulty speaking, you can go ahead and perhaps write a comment on the chat and then we'll know who you are. Uh, the chat is disabled. Oh. Hmm. Um, they have been given permission to speak and have opted not to. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and um, assume that this is not the event organizer. Raphael, if I may, I, I could add a little bit of context for this one. Please, Tara. Hi, everyone. This is my first time sitting in on this meeting. I'm Raphael's backup as city, city staff on this board. And um, so I thought I could just add a little bit of context about the Wednesday night market. Uh, I'm the arts and culture manager for the city, but I also issue all the special event permits for events. Um, that are on city property. So some of the ones that you are approving support for today, but not all. Um, this one is, I think, the first time it's coming to you, mainly because, unfortunately, the city has a separate event funding program called the Community Promotions Fund, which is um, not available this year to sponsor large events, community-focused, free community-focused events run by nonprofits. Um, those funds were reallocated during our COVID shutdown years, and so they will not be available again until 2023. That means that the Wednesday night market and a handful of other events that are run by nonprofits that are free for the public to attend um, won't get the city sponsorship this year, which in most cases involved a lot of in-kind services, um, police staffing, barricades, things like that. So um, I think that they are seeking other funding, obviously, to help with the event this year. And that's probably why they are, they, that you have an application uh, before you. Thanks. Thank you, Tara. So do um, we're ready to make a motion to approve. Um, again, the asking is $6,000. I personally am not in favor of this. I don't feel um, that this is, uh, again, I, I think that this is a great event and I think it's good for the community and, and, you know, I like going down to Wednesday night market, but I don't feel that this is what our funds are, are designated for. I feel that I don't think it's going to bring any tourists into the area. Um, again, it's a great event, but I personally am not in favor of supporting this. You know, I would agree with Todd because as many years as it's been going on, I've never seen anybody stay here at the hotel that's come for the Wednesday night market. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Donna. 
Do you mind if I make a comment, Raphael? Yeah, absolutely, please. I, I would just like to add a, a second layer of consideration for you that perhaps um, exact correlation to room nights uh, is not apparent with this event. It does add to a community vitality and a destination that people do want to come and visit to have an event like this here in Santa Rosa. And so um, I, I know that the, the, the room night stays um, are, are a big deal. Obviously there's other, I think, resources that Visit Santa Rosa puts towards making sure those things are, um, are a part of this uh, assessment fund. Um, and so I would just, I, I would just urge uh, a little bit of a broader perspective on what makes Santa Rosa attractive to tourists to begin with. And this is one of those events. Peter, <laughs> any comments? Yeah, I mean, everybody knows that that's my, my view as well. <laughs> Uh, and you know, I would I would be uh, in favor of providing some support for Wednesday night market um, uh, at six thousand. Uh, that's uh, I you know I see that request uh, different than some of the other requests coming in, and so you know I I think it's totally legitimate to uh, to have a conversation about what amount is appropriate. Um, but yeah, I mean, I agree with, with Tara uh, in that I'd love to support events and um, and make investments that that build the the vitality of the destination as a whole. And you know, I'm one vote on this committee, so I get it. All right, thank you. Hey, Matt, what are you thinking, Peter? Uh, well. Uh, I'm not sure that I came in with a preset notion. We're at 23 by my math right now out of, so we today spent about half of our available funds. Uh, Charlene is here with us and I know that she's got a vision on what uh, additional events might be coming through and uh, mm -hmm. y'all wouldn't <laughs> mind giving her some airtime for a second to, to highlight a couple of those. Maybe. Charlie? Sure, thanks. Thank you. Um, uh, I was also going to mention, I believe the the amount 3500 for the wine country distillery was last year's approval budget. So just maybe some clarity in that. Um, but yes, we do have um, some larger events that will be um, uh, applying and probably will come forth in the May meeting. Um, so to keep those in mind, um, they are returning annual events such as um, the senior hockey tournament and um, possibly a few others in regards to uh, beer fest. We've got country summer coming back and you know trying to touch base with those folks as well. So, um, so we've, we've got a great, uh, year ahead of us with a lot of events returning, a lot of our annual events that um, we're so grateful to have that they've weathered the storm and they're going to be back, um, you know, with us. And certainly we all love to um, be a partners with them and support what they do. Thank you, Charlene. And the only thing I wanted to add was um, they do, you know, their own marketing. They market a lot in Napa, Marin, and, um, you know, sometimes I could potentially bring, you know, overnight stays, but I go back to, yes, uh, community vitality. Uh, it puts Santa Rosa on the map. And I think they have a, a big plan for uh, uh, concerts. So there'll be some well-known musicians uh, uh, at the Wednesday night market uh, this year. For, for a little bit more context on that. It, and Charlene, thank you for the information about additional events. Um, uh, you know, not to spend money or, or make decisions on applications not before us, but, you know, things like country summer and uh, the hockey tournament are, are certainly things that I would want to support. Um, the Wednesday night market will be uh, in the coming year and hopefully many years to come sort of a, a center 
centerpiece of additional events in the square that when combined, I think would have uh, a greater opportunity to bring in visitors. The chamber is going to, for example, have a, a summer music series on Thursday, the following day uh, from um, uh, the market, as well as uh, have movie nights uh, midweek, uh, and then is looking at another potential uh, Friday uh, event through the through the summer. So all of those things put together and marketed collectively, I think, have probably a stronger opportunity to bring in overnight stays versus a singular uh, event uh, on its own. So I put that out there as a consideration as well. So having said all that, um, you know, I throw out just as a place to start the, the conversation of uh, uh, half of their request of, at, at 3000 um, and, you know, wherever the conversation goes, it goes. Thank you, Peter. Any further discussion before we make a motion? Todd? I mean, I'd, I'd be willing to, to give a little, like maybe 500 or something, but I'm, I'm, I don't, you know, we have several good events still coming up this year that I think would be more beneficial and are more in line with what I feel this funding is for. Um, I'd be willing to do a small amount, but not 3,000. Yeah, can we do a, a 1,500 or a 1,000, given that I'm not so sure, well, the promotion, community promotions grant is not available. Um, I think they're also running into some other costs that um, some in kind that was going to be provided, but no, no longer there. Is everyone comfortable with 1500? No, I'll, I'll, I'll do a thousand. But... I, I, I just don't feel that I, I don't I, I really feel for the Wednesday night market and I understand that they're in a bind, but I don't feel that our purpose is to bail out other organizations that, that are having struggling right now if it doesn't fit into what we're doing, you know. I just uh, I would do a thousand, but that would be the most I'd be willing to do. All right, member uh, Anderson uh, made a motion to approve a thousand dollars. I'll second that. Donna seconds. Any further discussion? Peter, I think Charlene uh, raised her hand real quick. Uh, I was just going to throw in, just saying that we're welcoming back our annual events, and I think that you know part of this is a renewal again and giving folks some seed money again. And I think that we do have the opportunity to work with some of these events um, like a Wednesday night, mar Wednesday night market that we haven't worked with in the past and maybe can look at some additional marketing opportunities for Visit Santa Rosa for the destination and so forth. So just a, another layer of thought. Yeah. Thank you, Charlene. I, yeah, I appreciate that, Charlene. As I was, as I was kind of alluding to before, right? We're, we'll look for, uh, we'll look for ways to support Wednesday Night Market as well from the from the chamber and all of our programs. And um, so I'm ready to vote on the motion in the second. We we do need to um, check for public comments. Yes, public comments. We do not have any hands raised at this time. All right, so all those in favor to approve the $1,000 for the Wednesday night market, say aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion approved. Thank you. We are about to finish. Uh, however, um, there is a department report. Department there. reports, yes, of course. Uh, so uh, quickly, uh, we, uh, we will be planning a special meeting, and I do apologize for 
uh, having to pull you back for a special meeting, but we need to vote. Uh, we have identified a potential member uh, to the board and uh, we'd like to make a motion to approve um, his uh, participation. And uh, we also have two alternates um, and that is my colleague, Tara Thompson and this is Santa Rosa uh, Charlene Lennon uh, who will be joining us um, at these meetings. Um, so that is about all I have to say. And um, any anything else? Well, good work, everyone. And oh, Todd, you were gonna. Right. Well, great to see you all. And please look out for that day for the special meeting. I hope to uh, make it in the next couple of days or so. And then since I'm getting the staff report to send to the council, thank you all very much. Have a great weekend and uh, we'll see you soon. Thanks everyone, bye-bye.